Hey everyone, Void Ranger coming at you with the review today for the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Dino Charge Black Ranger. This is super exciting because this figure actually released today as of this video recording. Um, it is a Target exclusive. It is a $20 figure just like any other Lightning Collection figure generally is. Um, and it's already sold out uh, online. Um, and finding it in stores is a bit tricky because technically some stores were selling it earlier this week and some stores have not even put it out on the shelf yet because Target is doing this crazy revamp of their entire toy section. So if you're watching this, you know, within like two or three days uh, of it being posted, um, I, from what I can tell, I have a few Target connections. Um, the, re the refresh might be done by um, Wednesday, Thursday, because apparently they got a lot of stuff because the whole um, toy section is just completely being redone for the fall and uh, holiday season. So that said, I'm really excited to get this because I miss the online like reveal, which you know happened on Twitter, the Power Rangers Twitter um, revealed it. It went live on Target's website and it within 10 minutes was gone. Now, whether people actually got it or it was scalpers using bots, I don't know. But I luckily found it through the Target app and was able to buy it and pick it up in store and have them email me when it was ready, which was only available for one of the four stores in my area. So I don't know what that was about because uh, usually it's available everywhere. Might be related to COVID, I don't know, but check your apps or whatever that way. A, you can see what the stock level is, but that doesn't mean it's on the shelf, and that doesn't mean they'll grab it for you because apparently they're saran wrapped and like sealed up in these pallets, and there's, each store is only getting two, from what I understand. So they're just like hidden somewhere in those giant seven foot tall Jenga boxes of toys. But uh, I would check before going, and if possible, pay for it before you get up there. So they can email you and actually say, hey, it's, you know, here behind the counter. We've got it. Don't waste your time otherwise. That said, Target, you just got enough free promotion in this video. Um, also, I guess, going into it, even though it's sold out now, it being a Target exclusive and having such a small supply and having sold out so quickly, I really do assume that Hasbro is not going to just let this be a one and done 10 minute long shelf lifespan figure and hopefully they'll restock it and it won't become this super rare crazy thing because i don't know it just it's a basic figure as much as i like the dino charge suits it's not worth becoming a 50 dollars figure there's nothing that special about it um <clears throat> and please don't pay scalper prices just just don't. Don't reward them for their bad behavior. Let them sit on eight of them and lose money because that's what they deserve, honestly. Okay, anyway, rant over. Let's look at the box because like Psycho Green, which, you know, I posted earlier, um, I haven't opened this yet. It's just been sitting here in the review station waiting for um, this review. So... It's just your standard um, Lightning Collection box. It's not anything too crazy special, and I'm, I say it every time, but this artwork is fantastic, and I want to be able to buy prints of it. But there's nothing like identifying this as a... Um, ow. <laughs> I think I don't save the boxes. Or I'm just treating it like Amazon would treat it. Anyway, um, there's nothing on it saying, like, exclusive to Target. It could be a... Uh, a timed exclusive they could release it everywhere eventually who knows companies are so weird with that kind of stuff now but box looks good it's your standard thing i like the action figure pose on the back um which you know i don't do but i'm glad that they were creative enough to do it or at least creative enough to photoshop the stand in the back out so you could probably recreate this pose i'm just salty that i'm not creative um but after looking at this and looking at Psycho Green, just like within a 24 hour time period, I do kind of wish they'd put like stats on the back. Like, yes, it's Chase. We know that. But like, let's put Chase's name there. Let's put uh, what season, you know, I mean, yeah, it's on the front, but 
Um, let's put the Zord they control. Let's do just something. There's, there's got to be more to it than just this. I mean, I do like the shot, and I do appreciate that it, it does look very good, and it's got a very clean look, but it feels like there could be more Power Ranger information on here. I don't know. I might be in the minority there. I don't really care that much because I don't save the boxes, but it does feel like it's it's missing, like, basic information, but... That might just be me. That said, we're done with the box. So let's open the thing and actually see this figure. Okay, so now that he's out of the box, let's take a look at his accessories and the the stuff he comes with, which is pretty standard fare because it, it is, again, a basic figure. But you've got your two replacement hands, like a karate chop and a fist, which... If you're not going to display them with the weapons or only just one weapon, um, you know, it gives you different options for how he's going to look on your shelf. Uh, he comes with this effect piece, which is actually tiny because um, it's like a gun blast. It's not like a gun blast. It is a gun blast. Um, this is actually my favorite kind of effect piece. I don't use them, but these are the ones I would be more likely to use because they're... I don't like the like wiry ones that wrap around the swords and stuff. I can never get them to look just right, and I don't know. They just look funny to me. So this actually... You take his morpher, and there's these... I, mean, I don't think the camera is going to pick this up at all, but there's two little peg holes on here. Peg holes? No, that's a video game. Um, but you just... Plug it in, and boom, you get a blast. Like I said, I don't keep these on my figures, but this one's not offensive at all, and uh, it looks all right. So, and I mean, purple's my favorite color, obviously, if you've seen anything to do with the channel. So, black and purple just look so good together. Um, of course, you get his Dino Charge Morpher, his Dino Morpher. Um, one side is painted more than the other, which was also the case with uh, Dino Charge Red, but I mean, it looks pretty good. It's detailed enough. And then you get his Dino Saber with it as well. I will display him using both of these. And partially, I guess, not even partially, but just the most exciting accessory, of course, is this head that I just dropped on the ground. Um, this alternate head, which is, of course, the sculpt of James Davies, who played Chase in Dino Charge. So this sculpt is really good. I'm hoping that the camera focuses on it. It looks really similar to him um, in the same way that uh, the Mighty Morphin Yellow Ranger um, sculpt of Thwee looked uh, pretty good. I mean, not even just pretty good. It looked friggin' awesome. So this looks really good. One of the better ones we've gotten. Um, like a serial killer, I keep these human heads um, in a bag, in a closet, because I display them. The rangers morphed. Um, the camera is losing its mind. Um, except for the most recent release of Zeo Gold that came with Trey's head. He's the only one... I have uh, his human head on because he's holding his Gold Ranger helmet, but that is neither here nor there because this is not a Gold Ranger review. Um, but yeah, I want to bring in uh, Dino Charge Red and Dino Charge Gold, and let's compare this figure to those since they're from the same line. Okay, so we have Dino Charge Black with his two lightning collection siblings let's go with that um so you can look at the figure and see that it's got your standard lightning collection improved painting and molding from the ten dollar basic line i think the dino charge suits are some of the coolest looking suits and helmets in sentai and power rangers so it's really nice to have more um, of these figures or another one of these figures um, you can tell like the sculpt is just it, it's it's pretty pretty good the detail in his sleeves matches the show the scale effect 
and then it's kind of hard to see but the um the parasaur head looks really good in some ways i think it looks a little less detailed than reds and um and even golds but i think if you look here i mean i, I don't think it's from a lack of modeling i think it's just having a black outline around the black parasaur is it kind of diminishes the effect so i don't think it's at first when i saw it on like pictures of it online it looked like it wasn't a very good render and maybe it's just me but i think it looks fine it, it kind of is what it is but the figure is neat um the paint apps are pretty good this one um i've never really had any kind of issue with any of my lightning collection things which i've pointed out before this one has a few scuffs and i don't know if that's from shipping and transport or if that's just how it came it's nothing extremely noticeable for me so i don't really mind and if i really wanted to fix it um like you can i don't even know if you can tell on the camera but there's a few like scuffs in the yellow uh, i can fix it with a gundam marker no i shouldn't have to and i know that there's somebody screaming that at at the monitor right now but it's a $20 figure. I mean, it's not, I didn't pay 60 bucks for it. It's not expected to be pristine. Um, and again, Hasbro does the Marvel Legends line and the Star Wars at like the Black Series, and they have similar issues as well. So no figure at $20 is going to be perfect. I mean, it's, it's more likely to have flaws than it, it is not to. So I can fix that if I want to, but I don't really think um, it really needs it, of course, because it's going to be on a shelf. Like, if somebody's this close to my figure, like, looking at it, they should probably buy it dinner. Um, but there is an error in the figure. And let's see. Um, so look at the belt here. Um, you see the, the yellow outline is correct. The gold, I mean, it's yellow. So, um, <clears throat> but the, the the piece in the center, the silver and the black, if the camera would focus on it, is inverted, um, which isn't correct. Um, if you look at Dino Charge Red, his is correct. So it's a little odd. And I remember, you know, seeing this pop up online because it just showed up in targets without being announced. So we didn't even know. And people were doing their thing where they scream that the franchise was ending and and Hasbro was ruining it and da 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 da, da. and there are things that Hasbro can get better at this is not the video for that but I don't think this was actually their fault um if you look on the box the belt is correct so I think that the paint got inverted at the factory um and this is a production error I would assume that future waves would be corrected at some point. Maybe, maybe they won't even bother. Maybe it doesn't matter. But the intention was not to have it inverted. It was to match red there. So, but that's the only thing I can notice on him that I just, you know, absolutely notice that it's wrong with him. And again, like gold's uh, completely gold neck instead of being painted white which is really hard, honestly, for me to even notice in the figure. I forget about it until I purposefully like, oh yeah, that was a thing people were mad about. I could correct it, but I honestly don't care that much. It, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, again, $20 figure. You're not gonna, you're not gonna get 100% perfect things. And you can argue with me if you want, but I'm, I really don't care enough to, to have that conversation. But I do think he fits in very well with um, with his gold and red brethren, which sounds like a really weird thing to say. I'm putting his weapon in his hand right now, on his morpher, which, again, the fingers are super stiff, which is good when, when you actually have them in hand. But when you're trying to get them in hand with no fingernails, it friggin' sucks. Like, I appreciate that they're stable, but yeah, he looks cool. I like him. Um, Black Rangers are always one of my favorites because I think black is a very striking color. It looks good with almost any color combination you can put there. So, I mean, he looks fantastic. I now want to bring in his, well, 
I don't have the entire line from Bandai, but I do want to compare him and then these two to two of the Bandai Dino Charge figures. So let's look at that. So as you can see, there is an obvious scale difference because these are two different lines, two different companies, but I do have these figures and there's some people, like I was saying that kind of try to imply that the Lightning Collection is no better than the $10 line. Um, we don't have $10 um, Hasbro Dino Charge figures, but just throwing it out there, even though this isn't a review for the Bandai figures, I mean, the the buckle isn't even painted. It's just silver, just a flat, I mean, I guess it's kind of metallic, but it's, it's silver. There's no paint detail there. Um, these figures are pretty nice looking for, you know, a basic line. I think Hasbro does their basic figures pretty well too. Um, but like I've got actually got Pink's weapons and there's no real detail. I mean, there's detail, but there's no paint. So it doesn't, it doesn't bring out the detail. Um, and they're clearly molded from the same plastic. So it's just, um, they're just basic looking weapons. But since I have them, I display them with her. Um, Hasbro also tends to go for a kind of a more muted color scheme and that's hit or miss for me depending on what, uh, what we're looking at. Like I don't like it in the Zord lines, but in the Ranger figures, I don't notice it quite as much. The, they are more, the, the plastic is more like matte rather than like a glossy finish. Pink is probably going to fall over, but Obviously, there's a huge scale difference. Um, I don't generally care about scale that often, but it's very noticeable here because Hasbro went, or uh, Bandai went very, very um, tiny, you know, towards the end there. Um, I would really love to see the Dino Charge team completed. It's a lot of Rangers to go through, so it will take a while, but this is one set of suits I would love to have completed. And uh, I don't really have any reason to normally talk about rumors and stuff, but there is another skew in the target system for a so-called Dino Special Ranger. Um, I really hope, and I, I don't think I'm alone here, that it is the Dark Ranger uh, slash Death Ryuger uh, from the comics and from um, Kyo Ryuger. So... It's Heckle's Ranger form, you know, in the comic books, Beyond the Grid, that kind of thing. And it's an amazing design. I love it so much, and I really hope we get a figure of it at the Dino Charge um, like Lightning Collection scale. It's a bit more expensive than um, the base figures. It's rumored, or the, the list price is 25 bucks. But to have all those figures plus the Dark Ranger together is is kind of the dream um i really do hope we start to get more full teams especially since we're really close to finishing uh the mighty morphin end of having one of every color there's only a few base ones we're missing we need a a normal non-silver strike green ranger at this time and a uh, black ranger with no dragon shield so I know that they're going to keep pumping out Mighty Morphin stuff. It makes sense because that's the name. That's what the brand is to most people. Um, but I, I do look forward to hopefully branching out into more comic book characters. And if that includes um, Dark Ranger to go with these figures, I would love it. Because these, these suits really translate to toys very well. And I just really hope to see it. But as far as black goes... Well, well, bye Shelby. You're canceled. I don't know. Um, figure looks great. Looks pretty good. Looks very much similar to gold and red. It is a $20 figure. Keep that in mind. But also keep that in mind when you're looking online to purchase him. He, uh, he isn't worth $45. I mean, or that's what I've been seeing him going for right now with scalpers and that kind of thing. And it's just not worth it like the helmet detail is fantastic he is a cool looking figure but he is a 20 dollars figure maybe 25 if you just really can't find him anywhere 
I would not pay more than $25 for him. I would not pay $25 for any lightning figure or more than that because um, unless they came with something special like the upcoming Omega Ranger comes with. Um, it just... Uh, just don't don't encourage don't enable uh scalpers it's not worth it so that said i do like it i do think it's worth a purchase and hopefully hasbro will restock it with target and get that kind of worked out because i hope more people get access to it it is very nice looking so with that in mind uh thanks for watching check me out on social media the links will be in the description below and at the end of the video uh, make sure to like comment and subscribe and until then, I will see you next time. Bye.